Good evening, and I'd like to thank you for joining us for our Wednesday evening prayer prompt here at the Greenbrier Church online. Those of you who know me know that I grew up in a military home, and actually I'm what you would call a Navy brat or the son of a sailor. But my dad didn't actually sail on boats. He worked with the Navy aircraft. And most of my friends growing up had no idea that the Navy actually had airplanes until the movie Top Gun hit the movie theaters, and, well, then the cat was out of the bag. I spent the first 13 years of my life growing up on and near military bases, and some of my favorite childhood memories happened on those bases with other Navy brats and Army brats and Air Force brats. This week, I was thinking about the first time that I ever saw an airplane break the sound barrier. It was one of the coolest things that I had ever seen in my life, and to be honest, it's still pretty cool. And while I don't remember if we were living in Arlington, Texas, or Alameda, California, I do remember seeing that plane race across the sky, that puff of vapor, and then being able to hear that plane a few seconds later. The first person that ever broke the sound barrier was Chuck Yeager back in October 14, 1947, but he wasn't the first pilot to ever try to fly an airplane faster than 768 miles an hour. There was a time when pilots and scientists and engineers all thought that that was impossible. You just couldn't fly that fast because according to the pilots, when you got to 767 miles an hour, just before you hit Mach 1, the plane would begin to, sh- to rattle and, and to shake. And I like to think about it like riding the Dahlonega mine train at Six Flags or some other wooden roller coaster. That uncertainty caused every pilot to back off the throttle, to slow down. For the last three years, we've been talking here at Greenbrier about spiritual health. We've talked about God's commandment for you and I to go out into the community and to tell people about Jesus, to be disciples of Christ, and to make disciples of Christ. For the last three years, we here at Greenbrier have talked about how we're being called to model love in the model city of Anniston. And I wonder if we treat that call to evangelize and to love our community kind of like those early pilots treated breaking the sound barrier. Honestly, it's scary to tell people about Jesus because our culture likes to fight about religion. We're often afraid to love our neighbor because every time we open ourselves up to someone else, they hurt us or abuse us or use us. And so instead of pushing forward, we often pull back the throttle because we don't want to get hurt. Church, I completely understand that fear. But over and over again, God promises us that if we are willing to go where he leads us, we'll never be alone. David writes, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the book of Deuteronomy, Moses writes, not once but twice, the Lord your God who goes before you, will himself fight for your behalf. And he writes, the Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Church, I know following God's not easy. I know loving your neighbor is not easy, and yet God calls us to push forward to do the difficult thing of following where he leads us. Our world, our community, will only come to know Jesus when those who wear His name boldly go forward in love. And by the way, whether you realize it or not, you were created to do difficult things. Right now, I think Greenbrier is going about 767 miles an hour, and we need to push that throttle forward. We need to push through so we can find God waiting for us. Because once we push through the fear and the rattling and the jerking, that's where we'll be able to join God in the next level, the experience that we've been longing for. Tonight I want us to go to God and to pray that we'll have the courage to have a greater fear of inaction than we do of failure. I want us to pray that we'll push through so that we can experience the wonder of what God has called us to do. Because God is just on the other side of that barrier. He's waiting for us to join Him so that we can be what we were created to be. That we can experience what we were created to experience. And we can find fulfillment 
and joy here in this world, in this place, in this community, because we are with God. And so tonight, will you go with me in prayer as we pray that God will give us the courage and the determination to do what we were created to do, the difficult things in life, to show His love to a community that so desperately needs to see love. Let's pray. Father, thank You for loving us. Thank You for showing us what love is, for not leaving us alone, not leaving us to our own devices, but for taking care of us. Father, You have created us in wildly wonderful, exotic ways. You have gifted us with gifts and abilities and talents that we haven't even tapped into yet because we get to that point and we get afraid and we back off. Father, give us the courage to push forward, to move that throttle forward so that we can be the people that You desire for us to be in this community. We will be people that are quick to love, quick to forgive, quick to accept, quick to invite people to come and to know You, not to have a religion, but to have the relationship that You have called us to have. Father, I pray in everything You will be glorified through the members of this church body and through the church body universal. That we will break all of the barriers in love and in compassion and in grace and in mercy so that your kingdom will break through once again in this world. Father, fill us with your courage. Take fear far away from us so that you will be glorified. And we ask this prayer through the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Church, I hope that you know that you're loved, that I long for the time that all of this pandemic will be over, that we can be back together. But until then, I pray that you will go in courage and go in peace. Have a great night.